when he said 30%, I thought, well, I'm going to be the 70%. The night before having my surgery, when I saw the breast cancer nurse, I sat there and I cried because I'd done some research on lymphedema. And he was like, oh, um, it happens, but don't worry about it. You know, you'll get a sleeve and everything will be fine. All along the way, everyone's telling me nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about. something like 90% of all cancer deaths are due to secondary tumors. When those cancer cells have left the tumor, they've gone to another part of the body. Of course, the breast cancer surgeon wants to stop that from happening. They will not only take the tumor out, but they'll take some of the lymph nodes out. They take out those uh, important lymph nodes for draining the arm, the arm might swell up. Two years in, into all this, I felt that one arm was slightly tighter than the other. My left arm was swollen like an elephant's trunk, it was huge. I was just totally shocked. I thought, what is this? I started thinking, that's it, I've got lymphedema. I was actually very upset because I'm a cellist and I need my arm working, sorry, to play my cello. I can play it for 10 or 15 minutes or something, but then I have to stop. I'm anxious, I'm scared, and I'm just obsessed with doing everything right to keep my lymphedema down. Bad enough you get the cancer and then the side effects that comes with it, then you've got lymphedema which is irreversible and incurable. I'm living in hope that I'm going to be able to do something about it, but at the same time I'm also living in fear that it's going to get worse. And the emotional impact is just absolutely horrendous because you have this constant reminder that you had breast cancer and the amount of work that you have to do to keep it down. It chips away, it chips away at your confidence and it chips away at your self-image. Lack of awareness uh, in terms of a patient is, is a serious problem because lymphedema may form years after the surgery. We've heard of some clinicians just telling these women, oh, sorry, I just think you're getting fat. You've already gotten a cancer diagnosis, then you've got a lymphedema diagnosis and you're not prepared. I want people to be aware of, first and foremost, that there is such a thing as lymphedema. You need to tell patients to be aware of it and tell them what the warning signs are. I'm angry and I feel quite alone. I'm terminally ill, I've got lymphedema, and the struggles going on inside my body and the pain I'm in, you, you don't see. It's up to me to look after this fat, heavy arm that I carry with me. It's just hard, day to day. Good thing about being a performer, I just push it out of my mind. That's how I deal with it. And then other times when I'm a bit stronger, I do something about it. You wear this leave to try your best to stop it from getting worse and you do the exercises, but it's a constant ache, constant pain. It's, to be honest, it's a bit of a nightmare, but you just try and get on with it, really.